A Lit Story is a, it's a movie that aims to give you a, an inside look at the Rio de Janeiro police uh, and what is it like to be a cop in, in a city like Rio, in a violent city where there are 11 murders a day, where there are 700 slums controlled by drug dealers, uh, where the police has very low wages, where the cops are very poorly trained, and uh, where there, is, uh, there are 40,000 cops in there and there is a small unit of 100 very, very violent cops uh, who try to, you know, keep uh, the drug dealers controlled and even the other cops controlled by resorting to extreme violence. So the movie is about what it's like to be one of those cops and what is it that creates those cops the way they are. Uh, I team up with a former uh, elite squad captain, uh, Rodrigo Pimentel. We did uh, two years of research interviewing uh, policemen, uh, psychiatrists in the police and, and drug dealers and trying to get a feel, a deep feel for what, it, what is that world about. The movie was inspired by research and by a real cop who wrote the screenplay with me and Braulio Mantovani, who is the writer of City of Gods. In order for you to have the kind of cops we have, I suppose you need to have the kind of society we have in the first place. So, uh, so the movie talks about hypocrisy a lot. I mean, it's a movie about how, say, you know, idealistic kids, um, who are in college, doing an education, getting an education, studying stuff like Foucault, Deleuze, you know, you know, you name it, the French philosophers and uh, postmodern, uh, you know, ideologies, and and meanwhile they're doing drugs all the time and they're having fun, and and by doing drugs they are financing heavily armed drug dealers who control poor populations uh, in very mean ways. And they are feeding a war that's going on in between those drug dealers and, and heavily armed cops who hate them. Uh, and so the idea of the movie is, it's basically, we have a character in there, the Machias character, who is a guy that tries to live in all these incompatible worlds at the same time. He, try, he is a cop, he wants to join the elite squad, but he's also a student. And he wants to be friends with everybody. And it's impossible to do that because it's incompatible. And this Matias is, is the cap that becomes violent. So you see the seed of violence uh, is planted in this character for a reason. You know, he's the guy that lives through, he tries to put all these incompatible social groups together in the same way that we, the Brazilian society as a whole, tries to do it. And the result is violence. So it's a kind of like a metaphor. You know, in the second week of the documentary I was doing on Elite Squad, I realized that it would be bad if I tried to do it as a documentary. And therefore, I turned the movie into a fictional movie because I wanted to do the story. It started as a, as a documentary. The film is all shot handheld because I wanted to do everything handheld in the style that we shot the documentaries. We didn't break down the, 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 the scenes, so we shot all the scenes completely as if we were in a documentary set. Uh, and the movie has this raw feel to it. One has to have to be a filmmaker in South America is uh, to be totally irresponsible. And I have a lot of that uh, going for me. And so I never thought about, you know, there's going to be a problem. I, I wasn't responsible enough to try to do it. <laughs>